Hello everyone, welcome to our Christmas special episode. In this one we have two 3D printers, three Christmas trees and one flex blade. And we are going to talk about these lovely 3D printed Christmas trees, how you can print them, where to download them, and the beauty of these two 3D printers, Creality Ender 3 and Anycubic Ultra Base. And this is magnetic flex blade where you can attach it and detach by the magnets in between. And I have analyzed this blade for a bad adhesion in another video. Don't forget to click and watch that too. And let's take a close look at these Christmas special 3D printed trees and let's see how well they are. Okay, let's take a look at our Christmas trees one by one. This one has really nice string structures and we can see the star on top of it too. It is really lovely, I really like this design. And there's also a cap underneath so that you can put things and close that one too. And you can definitely find the Thingiverse links to download them and enjoy these pieces from the designers who designed them. This is one of my favorites too, but my most favorite is the green one behind there. This is the second Christmas tree, you can download it from my mini factory, I really like it. Especially when you turn it really fast, you can you can see this dark curly thing appear, I really like that and I definitely love this green color. I printed with ABS, that's why there are a little bit cracks in these sections. Definitely 3D printed with PLA if you don't want these cracks to appear because I didn't have the proper enclosure to print ABS and the temperature wasn't right. That's why there were these cracks occurred but I, def I do want to 3D print it with this color. That's why I had to use the ABS. And this underneath is 3D printed with a wood PLA. It is so lovely too. And I used white PLA for the star itself. And as a result this lovely 3D printed tree came out. Another Christmas tree is this one, which I really like. It is both available in Thingiverse and my mini factory too. Uh, this is really interesting because it is very unconventional to 3D print it. What I mean is basically, uh, you are printing these layers without any support material. That's why they don't touch anywhere and they become like a tree leaves. And you can see that. Look at this texture and the uh, skin. It feels like a tree when you especially rub it this way. So it is really lovely and joyful to watch while it's printing. It basically prints these vertical structure against gravity. That's how these strings emerge and shape the tree itself. When you look at it underneath, you can see that too. Uh, each section has some vertical lift and then create these leaf-like structures by letting them fall with the gravity. I didn't like the top section of it a lot. Rest of it is definitely beautiful and give you an awesome feeling when you touch it. And this is how this tree is. In conjunction with this episode, I'm also releasing another episode that releases the performance of this flexible magnetic plate. And you will be able to learn more about this magnetic flex blade and how it performed in that episode. Our orange Christmas tree is 3D printed with Creality Ender 3, where you can see the Jura set things in this video that I used for that tree. And our other trees, which are in the green colors, were 3D printed with Anycubic i3 Mega. And again, the settings for these three prints can be seen in my Jura settings video for Anycubic i3 Mega. But for 3D printing the furry tree, you need to change the layer height from 0.0. 0.8 to 0.3 millimeter so that you get better resolution where the designer of it explains it in the video description below which is to, which turns out awesome too thank you guys for watching this is the end of our christmas special video and these are our 3d printed trees and 3d printers who made the job and i wish you a merry christmas i hope you guys get a fun times with your family and the loved ones merry christmas and see you guys in the january